Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Dr. Ayurveda Medico. In this video, I'm going to talk about the controversy or you can say the debate on the topic Can Ayurveda combine with allopathy or Ayurveda versus allopathy? So, let's just get started with the topic. To have an informed debate on the efficacy of medical treatments like allopathy, Ayurveda and homeopathy. It is said that allopathy saves 20 lakh people every year in the world and it is estimated that between 2000 and 2030, 7 crores dead due to 10 disease will be averted due to allopathic medicines. Apart from this, the market of allopathy is also very big. This is why today people want to become doctors but do not want to become doctors of Ayurveda. While allopathic treatment has so far saved the lives of crore of peoples all over the world of yoga and Ayurvedic treatment have also taught people about the healthy lifestyles. Both are efficient methods for medicinal treatments. Every method has its own importance. The bitter truth is that there is no conflict, there is a conflict between the interest of human beings regarding these systems. This is possibly because Ayurveda is known as a traditional Indian medicinal system, hence no wanted uh, to challenge these ancient living traditions and get in the bad books of crores of believers. Also, it is important to know that some allopathic doctors do offer Ayurveda treatment too. It is not exactly known why they do it. It is because they believe that there are better options available in Ayurveda for some disease and also they do it for commercial reasons too. Not only in India but in various other parts of the world too. Several non-allopathic med- methods of treatment are put in use. As per the estimate of World Health Organization, about 70 to 80 percent of the world population rely on non-conventional method- medicines in their health care. Such medicines consist mainly of herbal sources. The current controversy clearly indicates that even today Indian mind gets attracted more towards philosophical arguments than any evidence based on our experimental findings. We possibly still consider our health as more of a philosophical, ethical and spiritual issue than a scientific issue. There are very few examples where people have discussed rationality with an open mind. The allopathy Ayurveda debate teaches us that having knowledge of history and getting stuck in the history are two different things. It is important not to burden India's scientific community with the baggage of our past unnecessarily. Ayurveda cures the disease permanently and removes all the bacteria from the body. It supports a better lifestyle through which you can improve our several he- overall health. Allopathy destroys the germs but does not ensure that the disease will be cured permanently. Doctors and scientists believe that the modern practice should be called evidence-based medicine. Their reasoning behind that is in their method. Any drug or treatment method has to undergo a long rest and the whole method is based on scientific research. So overall conclusion what we can say that Ayurveda and Allopathy both if combined together can rock but if combined so this is a never-ending controversy that with this i would like to end up here thank you and do like share subscribe my channel for more such videos where i review ayurveda and allopathic medicines together but not a part of controversy anymore thank you